thousands of dollars, sometimes reaching totals over one million, trade hands here every sale day. This is probably one of the best examples of nearly perfect competition existing in the United States economy today. One product involving many buyers and sellers, each making decisions independently. According to classical economic theory, a model-free economic system operates on the basis of supply and demand. Consumers are free to make choices by purchasing or refusing to purchase available goods and services. If consumers demand more of a product, the price goes up, and higher prices encourage producers to supply more of that product. If consumers buy less of a commodity, prices go down, and producers presumably stop or slow down production. In such an ideal competitive market, consumers are presumed to be models of rational, informed, discriminating behavior. They choose products that offer the highest quality at the best price. In this way, consumers cast dollar votes that determine what is to be produced and at what price. In such a market, sellers must compete for the consumer's dollars by offering quality goods and services at a lower price than competitors. Sellers that cannot compete are forced out of business. The classical model described assumes there are many sellers and many buyers, too many for anyone to control supply, demand, or price. Such a system is based on several concepts. The rights to own private property and enter into contracts, free competition, which allows any producer to enter the market and compete for consumer dollars, the profit motive, the idea that each individual will seek as much profit as possible and free enterprise, the idea that business should be free to operate with a minimum amount of control from the government.